What's up YouTube, this is Prince of the TP101 and in this video I want to show you guys another 20 tweaks that I think you guys will like. So make sure to like and subscribe and also turn on that notifications. And all the tweaks will be in the description. You go down there and check them out and also the repo that you need to, have, to get most of these. So yeah, the first tweak I want to show you guys is called Artsy. Artsy is a music tweak. So if I go to my Spotify and you can see um, this song right here, you can see the, the music art is basically taking up the whole background and if I switch it that music art will take up everything just like that and also if I go to my control center you can see it takes up everything if I go to my lock screen it's there again and it's adaptive so if I skip it it'll switch it up like that and it'll switch it up like that so that one is called RC and then my other one is called CC linker CC linker is for control center in CC so basically if I want to go to the preferences in settings I could just swipe left on Wi-Fi and it will bring me to my Wi-Fi just like that I swipe left on Bluetooth it will bring me to my Bluetooth and for older device that doesn't support 3D touch you could also long press but because the newer device is upwards long to, um, 3D touch so the long press settings is not recommended but you could go to settings you could set it up you could turn it off set up the gesture I have mine for swipe left and yeah there you go that one is called CC linker and then the other one is called color my CC color my CC is basically a tweet that lets you switch the colors of your control center just like that so you see that one is pink so if I go away and you could go in there you guys could set it up your background color all that kind of stuff and you guys could go in there and set it up however you like pick whatever color you like and switch it up that one is called color my CC and then the other one is called custom alert X custom alert X is basically if you want a different notification if your phone is locked and it's off on, on your desk and whenever the notification come in you're just gonna see a total different look so I'm gonna send myself a test text so let's type it in test like that I'm gonna send it I'll lock my device there you go. You see that right there? That's what that does. I'm just gonna do it again. So whenever you see you have your phone down and you see that pop up twice, then you know you got a notification. It's just a different way to get a notification. That one is called Custom Alert X. And then the other one is called Day Night Switch. Day night switch is this right here. If you look right here on the toggles, you could see when it's on, it looks like it's night. And if I turn it off see that now when it's on it's a day and when it's on it's nighttime when it's on is <laughs> when it's on it's daytime when it's off it's nighttime so it's day and night switch that's all it does it just switch up all the toggles system wide on your device so you guys could have them just like that so if you guys want to switch up a little bit different if you got that dark mode and all that kind of stuff it looks great so that one is called day night switch and then the other one is called Evan Esco Evan Esco is basically let me just toggle it on real quick it's if you watch Harry Potter it's basically I think the guy that did the disappearing trick or something, something like that so once it's on if you don't mess with it for like four seconds all the apps disappear just like that you tap on it they come back but after no interaction for a couple seconds they all disappear just like a magic trick so hence Evan Esco I think the guy from Harry Potter so yeah the other one is called gravity gravity is similar to Evan Esco let's turn that off and let's turn on gravity turn that on and let's see what happens with gravity I don't know why it's not working but there you go so gravity is basically a tweet that lets you all your apps fall to the to wherever you could flip it around and it do all that and you could still press on them while they're not that you could actually throw them around all the way to their fall you could actually throw them around drag them wherever and you could tap on it and it'll still open when it's in that mode just like that and you guys could set up however you like right in the settings include the dock I mean everything so yeah that one is called gravity let me turn it off real quick cuz I don't want the whole thing going so yeah 
that one is called gravity and then next one is called gyration gyration is basically a tweet that lets you put your phone into like landscape mode like that on certain apps that it wouldn't allow you to do it so if I go to this Spotify not Spotify but Twitter I could flip over and I could have it just like that so if you want to put your phone into landscape mode you guys could try these out and a lot of apps you could also do it on the home screen but whenever you do it on the home screen it's kind of buggy so I turned that off the settings panel is in there so let's go to where is that so gyration enabled disable rotation on your home screen so that's disabled so that's why it's not working and you guys could go in there and basically set it up however you like so if you want to get some more reading space on your apps then you guys could try out gy gyration and then the other one is called IG great dark mode so if you want a nice dark mode for IG you guys could try this one right here so it's called IG great dark mode Ooh. so that's like that see that and it looks real cool you guys could go on the settings and set it up however you like but yeah that one is called IG great dark mode and then another one, if you want to get some nice dark keyboard, then you guys could try out Latest. Latest, I think that's what it's called. So if I go to my messages, you can see that keyboard right there. Look at that. That's a nice dark keyboard. And with the OLED screen of the iPhone 10, it looks amazing. So you guys could make a lot of different um, keyboards. Where is it at? can't find it here it is so you guys could set it up so it says enabled and I also say use true black All right now I have it for true black that's why the keyboard is like that but then you could also use your custom colors turn that on and let's go in there and see if we have to respring but now see I have it for pink so it changed to that color so if I switch it up to blue it should change to blue straight like that so if you want to switch up keyboard but I like the true black one so let's turn true black on boom I like that one that one looks really dope and look how dark that is that's really really nice so that one is called latest and the other one is called modern XL modern XL is basically a notification tweet so if you want to switch up your notifications See how that look? That looks a lot different. It looks more modern, as it said. Modern XL. It just it looks a lot different. A lot cleaner. And you know the app is like right to the left corner and it just looks better. So if you guys want to try that out, that one is called Modern XL. And then the other one is called Month Monthly Con. Monthly Con is basically because my my app name is gone so I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot of what this tweet does this tweet basically gives you this right here so under the under the calendar app instead of the name it will tell you the month Did you see that right there so that's what monthly can do it just gives you the name of the month under the calendar so right now it's saying May 29th so that's what it does a real cool tweak if you leave your app name under there you could do it like that but I like mine clean so you won't see it so if you want to do that try it out that one is called monthly con and then another one is called nice notes nice notes is basically for notes so if you want to enhance your notes a little bit see I got dark mode I got the green I could basically do see that like everything looks different so if you want to switch up some colors you want to add some new notes and you basically you can set it up however you like so you guys could go on the settings you guys take a lot of notes where is it at? nice notes you could set up the colors you could do the background the text color all that kind of stuff the navigation bar whatever you like you guys could set it up and that one is called nice notes and the other one is called preview be gone preview be gone is basically a real cool tweet that lets you get rid of the screenshot preview you see I took that screenshot 
nothing pops up right here basically it brings it back to the iOS 10 days because iOS 11 would put our screenshot a little preview right there so you could edit it on the fly but now nah, I like it like this you tap on it boom take that screenshot and you can see the screenshot and yeah you could do it just like that so that one is our preview be gone and the other one is called Safari Plus Safari Plus is basically it's going here some enhancement for Safari that's Safari Plus so you could do gestures so the action you could do a new tab so if I swipe left on the status bar it will open up a new tab I swipe right it will close the tab and you guys could basically set it up however you like you got download add-ons you could turn that on action add-ons all that kind of stuff if you use Safari a lot and you want to make it a little bit better you guys could check it out so let's open up Safari let's tap right here so if I want to go back I could just swipe so I could swipe right and it'll open up a new tab I could swipe what the hell is that so you could swipe right and all that kind of stuff so you basically if you want to enhance Spotify um, Safari I don't use Safari a lot so I just wanted to show you guys for so anybody who use Safari and want some more features you guys could try out that one that one is called Safari Plus and then the other one is called Simple Passcode. Simple Passcode is for your lock screen so if I go here and I try to open up my device now you can see it's blank so I could put in my passcode and nobody will know what I put in I mean so if you like that you guys could just put in whatever and it will open up so that one is called Simple Passcode. There's actually a settings panel that you can go in there and set it up however you like. So, so how you do the default, you could hide the letters or you could just hide everything and that's what I have it set up for. So that one is called Simple Passcode Buttons. And then the other one is called Sway. Sway is for the top up here. So if you want to enhance your, you want to change the font of your status bar, you could do that. Just like that, you see it? It's doing it, but whenever you're on Wi Fi, if I turn Wi Fi on until it comes on, you can see it switches. So over here, the font is zero, but over here is the regular font. But when I turn on, turn off Wi Fi, and the LTE is there, you can see it's in the font. So let me show you guys how to switch that up. So let's go to settings, and this is the font that I have right here chart duster so basically you could just go to your computer figure out whatever font you want and just type that font in and it will give you that font so whatever font you like on your computer or whatever just type it in you could do chart duster you could clarinet whatever you want you could just type it in right here and respring and you'll get that font in your status bar just like that so that one is called sway the other one is called switches switches basically enhance your app switcher so now you can see it's all rounded I could do it like real square and if I but the only thing I don't like with this is you still have to hold down so if I hold down and I swipe down I get a lot more options so I could close settings I could close all apps I could respring reboot power off or return to last app I mean so hold on let's do it again swipe down and it returned us to the app right here. So if I go here, swipe down, kill all apps, close all apps, all the apps are gone except for the music. Sometimes you have to put in a preference to set up your music separately because it doesn't want to kill your music. So if I go down to, where is it at? Switches. Then you can see enabled. Swipe down detection blah 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 so it's so all kind of stuff you could go in there and set up so let's go like that and you have to respring after you set it up but yeah if you just want some enhancement of your app switcher I don't really like this one I rather just easy switcher but this is a new one it's called switchers so definitely check it out and the other one is called video hood if you want to get rid of that ugly video hood that's pop up right in the middle of the screen you could get something nice and just like that you see that if you want something like that you could try this if I go to YouTube and I go to turn the volume down or something like that you could see that nice 
iOS 11 style video hood right up there so you guys could do it just like that and it's a lot better than the other one right here but my favorite is peekaboo premium that's the one I'm gonna use I'm gonna remove this one but I just wanted to show you guys straight off the rip there it is right there so that one is called video hood or video HUD and then my last one is called WhatsApp theme WA theme so if you like WhatsApp like me and you got a lot of people in other countries that you guys are texting and talking to you guys could set it up like that and you guys could basically theme up your WhatsApp so you can see it's like in dark mode it's all kind of stuff going on and you guys could go to the settings and set it up however you like so you could enable you choose the colors for whatever the background, the tint, the text, the contact name, the message input color, everything you guys could switch up to your liking. So, yeah, if you guys like that, you guys could hook it up however you like. So the WhatsApp theme and also the um, the IG dark gray mode. So yeah, there you go, guys. Those are some cool themes. Hope you guys like them. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Today's Sunday, so I'm gonna be watching the World Cup final so hopefully France win keeping my fingers crossed but yeah there you go peace